Hi, I'm Laura Don with MoveOn.org, and this is a special edition of 5 by 5 Today I'm going to be speaking with Axel Caballero from Cuéntame uh, about a shocking story that the mainstream media so far hasn't covered. Axel, thank you so much for being with us here today. Um, since a lot of MoveOn members might not know who you are, can you just let us know your name again and a little bit about the organization that you work for and the campaign that you're working on? Um, my name is Axel Caballero. I founded and produced Cuéntame. And currently, we have a campaign called Immigrants for Sale, immigrantsforsale.org. And what that really does is to expose uh, the players, the money that are behind our private detention uh, complex. Private prisons, Geo Group and CCA, make close to $5 billion every year in detentions. And a huge percent of that is the, det the detention of migrants. And the way that they do it is that they lobby. They lobby for laws like Arizona SB 1070, like Georgia HB 87, Florida, they, they attempted in Texas is a huge um, item as well. And uh, so they lobby for laws and they used uh, uh, groups like the American Legislative Exchange Council to promote those laws for them, to contact legislators and public uh, uh, officials and really promote the opening of more complexes, more bed spaces. There's 150,000 bed spaces in this country that need to be filled and they get $200 a night per inmate. And that's money that we pay for. So detaining immigrants is big business. Absolutely. It's a huge business. In fact, uh, the heads of CCA and the GEO group have identified the detention of migrants as their next boom. The drug war, they say, that's, that's a dying cause. Now it's the, the immigration issue. That's going to fill our bed spaces, and that's going to give us more money. And the way that they secured that is by going to specific places, specific states, and hijacking our legislators and hijacking our government, and even our federal legislators as well. And they're putting money in their pockets through campaign contributions like we saw in Arizona, uh, like we saw in Florida with Senator Mark Rubio, like we saw in Arizona uh, with Governor Brewer and Russell Pierce. And we've seen it state by state by state. That's what the copycats laws were all about, the anti-immigration. It was about money. It was about profit and profiting off of the detention of immigrants. I'm really surprised to hear that Senator Marco Rubio was involved in this. Can you explain a little bit more about what happened in Florida? Uh, Senator Rubio had received, we identified in part of our expose for immigrants for sale, uh, when we identify all the players behind this uh, industrial complex, uh, the detention center industrial complex, uh, we identified that Senator Marco Rubio actually received uh, close to $50,000 from the GEO group. And the GEO group is actually one of the, the second uh, largest operator of private uh, facilities in the nation. They're pushing for the privatization of prisons in Florida. Um, obviously, there's, you can make the connection. So that's kind of shocking. Let me just make sure that I, that I get the connection. So this group gives a huge donation to Senator Marco Rubio, who then supports their privatizing detention centers for immigrants. And then that same company makes quite a bit of money off of those detention centers. Is that the connection? Yeah, definitely. What, what happens is they go to the, the state, a particular state, in this case it's Florida, and they talk to all the legislators and they lobby and they go through campaign contribution, of, you know, in general. And in particular case, uh, Senator Rubio, in the last campaign, he received about $50,000, which is well documented, for fast-tracking support uh, uh, within the local, uh, you know, a sphere as well as the national sphere. Um, and adding his voice to that support means a lot. And so he actually helps these facilities be open. In fact, they're opening a new one, Southwest Ranch, uh, that would hold 2,000 detainees at $200 a night. They have to fill those contracts. They have to fill those detention cells. And the way they do it is by recruiting fresh immigrant inmates. This is an actual business that runs in Florida, mm -hmm. and the money these businesses make are from our tax dollars. Absolutely. And this I mean, happened in Arizona as well? Absolutely, yeah. Which senators were involved in that process? Well, the, the senator that, that was uh, involved in the process in Arizona behind SB 1070 was Senator Russell Pierce, who's now facing a recall campaign. He actually went to D.C. Um, and met with other legislators through the American Legislative Exchange Council, which CCA, Corrections Corporation of America, was also part of, and they drafted what was word for word SB 1070. 
and they brought it back and he introduced it. And 36 of the co-sponsors of that law received money from CCA. At Utah did the same thing. Management and Training Corporation is huge in Utah. You see in Texas, uh, Hutto has been accused of numerous travesties in Texas. And Texas actually right now detains the most amount of immigrants in private facilities, close to 75,000. In Georgia, you see HB 87, Governor Deal received $5,000 from CCA in the last cycle. And some of the co-sponsors also received money. Alabama, you go state by state, Florida. And so it is a, it's becoming a real, real problem. And what is happening is that in the void, in the gap that we have in our immigration system is being, is being filled by corporations who have no interest except to make money. And they shouldn't be dictating our immigration policy. We should be dictating our immigration policy. Okay, just to be super clear, how are they making their money again? Uh, corporations are making money because they receive $200 a night per image by detaining immigrants behind their bars. They're making money by putting detained immigrants behind bars. Yes. That's how they're making their money. Exactly. And they charge $200 a night that we pay for. It comes from taxpayers' uh, pocket through different budget systems, local, and it's all secretive. Nobody knows about it. There's no accountability. Nobody holds them accountable. It's a huge uh, multi-billion dollar industry. So you documented the campaign contributions? Absolutely. In fact, at immigrantsforsale.org, it's a full series, a documentary campaign series. We've produced uh, five videos already uh, where we expose the players, the money, and also the victims. Vic stories of folks that have been detained and that tell their stories about, you know, the struggles that they do, their families and their relatives. So I also saw in one of your reports that they not only make money by detaining immigrants and filling their beds, but they also put them to work? One of the main things that CCA does is in order to keep the structure and cut costs, because it's all about profits. They need to, their, their stock, uh, their sh per share is now at $26, which is the, the highest that it's ever been. And they put them behind bars, and in order to cut costs of how they sustain their facilities, they put the, the immigrants, uh, uh, detainees, to work. Um, and they don't, they pay, they basically is, is, is paid like a couple of cents, if anything. But what's even worse than that, let, let's say they make, you know, after a week's work, about $50. Immigrants, uh, detained immigrants, when they communicate outside with their families, they have to use the phones, the phone system and other items within CCA. CCA charges $5 per minute to use that phone. So that, <laughs> so that money is immediately uh, gone. And so it's basically free labor, you know, that they're getting. That sounds really close to human trafficking. Legalized. Legalized human trafficking in the United States of America. And we're paying for it. And we, the taxpayers, are paying for it. I want to thank you so much for doing the hard work to get this story out. Absolutely, and I, I really do recommend everyone visit immigrantsforsale.org. Uh, we're going to have a lot of actions, a lot more videos, and, and really a growing community of, of uh, activists, but just in general, of, of the public at large. I want to thank Axel again for being with us here today, and please go to immigrantsforsale.org and learn more about this story. I'm Laura Don, and that's it for 5 by 5